everybody, it's Sam and Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I've got a really fun project and that is paper jewellery. So this came about from the last tutorial I done when I just briefly spoke about the rings that I wear. And then it made me think, why don't I make some paper jewellery? And I have made like, you know, the paper um, beads and things like that before in the past. And I have played around with, with rings and stuff, but I thought, why not? do a tutorial <laughs> so these are wacky these are bold and these are not going to be everybody's cup of tea but it's just a bit of fun so this is what I've done this is probably my favorite one at the moment and this is just using loads of I've just pulled all my die cuts out and just die cut them as if I would if I was putting them on a card or a gift box but instead of that I've put them on a paper band and I'll show you how to do that and it's just so easy um, I think these would be lovely at little craft fairs little girls can buy them little boys can buy them you can do boy ones as well um, and they'd be good for parties um, and little goodie bags and stuff so I think they're great so that's that one this is the butterfly I love this butterfly it's the hobby based butterfly that I use I think I've done it for that finger yeah which I use all the time and actually it's probably better if I turn it around yeah that's the better way and I just die cut it three times. I've put some embellishments in the middle of it there. And I just think it's really fun. I love them and I'm gonna be wearing them in my tutorials. So that's that one. This was great. This is from the Stamping Up Oh So Eclectic range. And they've got this big diamond um, die. And I thought, that's just amazing. Imagine having a diamond that big on your finger. So I have. But mine's paper so that's that one um these ones are just more flowers i think that was for the middle yeah as you can see there obviously they clash a bit with my nail polish i've done a star this one i've just ma mounted on i've die cut it three times in black then die cut in the pattern paper so it's, they're really they're solid pieces i mean that's going to last me for a long long time just having them at home and obviously it's coming into the summer now so i can take them outside i think i've done it that way around actually there we go. Again, really fun. I've got a darker polish on or a bit of a pinky polish. That'll look really quite cool. And then this one's really fun and it kind of goes with the parrot ring that I've got. And this one I fussy cut from a piece of trim craft um, paper and it's got this all over it. I've used it on the tall curved gift box that I've done um, as a decoration and I've used it on something else as well. But I just fussy cut it. I've put it on three pieces of card to again, it's solid. And then I've used the same pattern paper to make the little ring. And it's all really neat, nice and tidy. And again, I think I add in that way so he's facing me. He sits on that finger there. And look, and I can work with it normally. It doesn't, you know, irritate or kind of catch on my finger or anything like that. So if you've got really fun papers, if you've got any young children or adults, because I love them, um, you know, and they've got particular things that they like, then make some joy. You could also put that on a necklace. There's loads of things you can do with it, but it's just a bit of fun. So I'm gonna show you how to do a flower one. So I just thought that was nice and probably the most kind of popular one that people will do. Um, so I've just die cut, I'm gonna add some leaves to this one. I've just die cut these ones here and I've done red and green. So it's just a little bit different. So I'm just going to pop all this together and kind of um, make it up just as if I was um, you know, going to put this on a card or like I said, a, a gift tag or anything like that really. Um, I don't know if I use all four. But I've just got this soft mat here which I've used on lots of things and I've just got these, you get a pack of them. I um, can't remember where I got these ones from. But I'll share all the links again anyway because uh, I've used them lots of times. But anything with a big ball on the end like this, you just want to bring them to life. Distress them a bit if you want with your inks and stuff. And then I'm just going to use some of my tacky glue and just build this up. So you're just layering them on top of each other. So they're just overlapping. Like so. Do I want the last one? Yeah, I'll pop the last one in as well. I'm going to put a little embellishment in the middle as well so you can raid your, all your little gems. That'll look really nice. Do you know what that looks? I know it's not the flower of the, that kind, but it looks a little bit like um, a poppy. Okay, so just done a quick little flower there. 
So to do the actual band, I've cut, I've been using um, a piece of one inch by um, four and then cutting it down. You can do one inch by three, but it just doesn't give you as much room when you're kind of measuring it around your finger. So I've got that there. I've just got this little score board here and all I've done was score it at, use this one here. Um, you just want to score it at a quarter of an inch. at three quarters of an inch. Okay, so just so you're giving yourself like so. I don't think this is, this isn't the right scoreboard for what I'm doing, but I'm just gonna go in a little bit more because I don't think that was exactly, but you wanna score it a quarter of an inch and three quarters of an inch. I just can't, couldn't be bothered to get my big scoreboard and I found this in my drawer and thought it was quite handy. Um, so just fold in the sides there so you should then have half an inch band, which I've now got, just like so. Okay, and then you've got your two quarter inch sides inside like that. Then all you want to do is just pop some glue just down the inside there. And again, along the inside, like so. Fold them both over. And then just with my bone tool, just go along spread out all that glue so that all sticks down nice and securely okay. and as it's drying just curl it around like so should keep one of these on really shouldn't i let's pop that one back on it's a bit more fun okay and just like so okay get rid of all let's just pop that to one side pop that and then we can just put it together. So I need to take it off again now. So I think I'm gonna put this one on this finger. So what I was doing is basically popping it underneath your finger like so. Bring round one side, okay? And then this side here. And where it over, then overlaps, you want it to overlap by about a quarter of an inch. So I've got a quarter of an inch overlap then. I'm just gonna fold it kind of like so. So you can see what I've done. So it overlaps by about a quarter of an inch and then just fold it up. Now I can take that off and just cut like so. Okay, now I just want to grab my glue and again, just cover the glue a quarter of an inch and then bring that piece over the top. And just hold that in place. Obviously you can put it back on your finger if you want to re-measure it, make sure okay. it's gonna fit. I'm just check in there and that fits and I can take that on and off quite easily okay now I'm going to I'll do the embellishment at the end actually so now I'm going to stick this down with wet glue pop it on the join so it's all being hidden and just hold that one in place okay, so that's now stuck down so when I pop that on you can see that's coming together nicely then I'm going to add some little leaf effects on this one just to give it something different but I cut out four but I think I'm just going to use those two little ones just yeah just to give it a little something so again I'll pop a little bit of glue and just tap it on the end there and pop that one in yeah it definitely looks like a little poppy now with the little green like that and then I'm going to pop another one I'm going to do it coming out of the little leaf like so there we go and then i'm just gonna grab a embellishment okay i've got these here i used these months and months and months ago and they were actually um little hair embellishments that i picked up from new look and as i said back then i couldn't think of anything worse than putting them in your hair but they were perfect for my paper crafting so i'm going to pop that one in the middle like so it just needs to dry a bit but you can see there what i've just done really cute just pop that back over like so don't need those and i think that is pretty much which way do i want to have it let's have it that way like so and there you go another fun pretty ring so i love these i think they are really fun <laughs> you're gonna see me wearing them all and yeah, I just, it's, it's me, it's my personality and I, uh, can I get them all on? There you go, 
I think they're fantastic. <laughs> so I hope you like this really random weird tutorial from me today. Um, that one's coming off, it's popping one there. Um, I've loved it, I've had a really lovely afternoon just making fun things and yeah if you do make any share them on my social media you know I love to see them and I'll see you again, oh keeps coming off, I'll see you again in the week, bye!